Good day viewers, my name is Mr. Kevanu. Welcome to our fourth lesson for life science grade nine. Today's topic will be nutrition. Our learning objectives, learners should be able to define a balanced diet as a diet that consists of all nutrients in the right proportions to meet the body's requirements. Suggest a diet required by people of different ages and sexes performing the same or different activities. Explain why people of different ages and sexes have different energy requirements. Do you know what a balanced diet is? Well, a balanced diet is a diet that consists of all nutrients in the right proportions to meet the body's requirements. What do we mean by all nutrients in the right proportion? There are seven main classes of nutrients that the body needs. These are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, mineral salts, fiber, and water. It is important that everyone eats these seven nutrients on a daily basis to help them build their bodies and maintain their health. These nutrients must be eaten in the right amounts or proportions. How do I know how much is the right proportion for me? The right amount of nutrients that you need to eat depends on the following factors. Your age, your sex or gender, different activities you are performing, and your health status. Nutrients provide energy for physical activities. As you become more active and fitter, your energy level may change. People of different ages and sexes perform the same or different activities may have different energy requirements. By analyzing the chart, you will be able to get a general idea of how much energy people of different ages and sexes doing different or the same activities may need per day. For example, Walking to school is an example of being moderately active. Playing a game of basketball is an example of being vigorously active. Let us look at this example of two people of the same age, but different sexes performing the same activity. Men need more energy than women do, even when they are doing the same activity because men have more muscle mass that uses more energy to do the job, the same job that a woman is doing. Let us look at people of different ages performing different activities. Teenagers need more energy than babies because they are larger and more active. An elderly person requires less energy than a younger individual because they are less active and have less muscle mass. What about people doing different activities? When you are doing sport, for example, athletics at school, you need proteins for building muscles and plenty of carbohydrates for energy. If you are playing soccer, for instance, you need more proteins and carbohydrates than someone who is playing snooker. If you are doing heavy work, you need more carbohydrates than someone who is doing light work. For example, a mine worker needs more energy than someone who is working in an office. Let us summarize what we learned about nutrition. There are seven main classes of nutrients, namely carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, mineral salts, fiber, and water. The right amount of nutrients that you need to eat depends on the following factors. Your age, your sex or gender, different activities you are performing, your health status. Viewers, 
Before I sign off, I would like to ask you a few questions to reflect on today's work and to test your knowledge. 1. Explain what is meant by a balanced diet. 2. Describe the factors that determine the right amount of nutrients needed by the body. 3. Discuss the energy requirements of people of different ages performing different activities. That's all for today. Take care of yourself. Eat well until we meet next time. See you soon.